only the most daring manufacturers attempt to build a mini ITX case which makes any sense. And probably because it either ends up in an awesome mix of micro size and power, which every man secretly desire, or in a metallic mess of components crammed together with the heat efficiency of a Chernobylian taxi driver. Today, we are reviewing the Ophion, 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 Ophion. Rajintech very own mini chassis. 150 bucks compact aluminum case, which tries really hard to convince us that smaller is better. A point that I have been trying to make to all the girlfriends I had since 1999. So the whole point of a mini ITX chassis is to be able to support the most powerful processors and video cards that the desktop computer can hold, going from the budget to the most crazy power hungry components, all in a tiny, mini, compact, small tech yummy factor. Now, starting with the obvious. The Ophion is a mini ITX chassis, meaning 174 millimeter long, 375 millimeter wide, 245 millimeter high for a weight of 3.14 kilogram. That is small, that is very, very small. It actually can fit entirely into a mid tower, which is the old point here. And the first thing which really popped to me is a premium feel of the entire assembly. Rajin Tech is not one of those uh, mainstream brands out there, but it, didn't, it did not stop them from delivering a really well-engineered chassis. We have this really nice sandblasted brushed aluminum espousing the entire front of our case. Panel holders are nicely padded and I could not detect any cutting edges and frankly talking, there is definitely a premium feel to it. This thing does feel engineered. Both of our side panels are made of this nice thick tempered glass, which adds to this all expensive feel and look of our chassis mixing metal versus glass. And I really, really like that. Now component placing wise, our motherboard and PSU sits on the left side of our case, whilst the entire right side is reserved for our video card. And yes, it can comfortably support a full size GPU, which gives this mini ITX the possibility of really delivering the full performance of a full size desk desktop. Now our case can support a full size ATX power supply unit, but the cabling is definitely a challenge. And that's why I would recommend to go for smaller mini ITX PSU, such as a Corsair SF series that I am using right here. And here I have a little critic cause I would have loved to see uh, an adaptator plate to help us uh, going from an ATX to a mini ITX power supply unit. And uh, so instead we have to get rather inventive on how you want to put a mini ITX because you're gonna have all those empty edges and there's no pre-installed screw holes for those. So something I definitely want to see address on the next iteration of that chassis. Unsurprisingly, the option only supports mini ITX motherboards. And right on top, you will see our PCIe 3.0 extender, which will connect our back GPU to our front PCIe slot. Note that despite being a PCIe 3 cable, it can support up to 64 gigabyte per second transfer, making it uh, completely compatible to the latest PCIe 4.0 standard. Definitely a great point for X570 powered motherboards. The case can support up to three 120 millimeter fans, one slim fan on its floor and two standard fans on its ceiling. And who says fan says dust filter and Rajintech here made sure to magnetize them for easy maintenance. But no space at all for any uh, all-in-one water cooling system. I tried, it just couldn't fit. If you want to go with water cooling is to make sure to buy the Ophion EVO, which is like the slightly taller version of that mini ITX, which gives you the right amount of clearance to, to, to squeeze in uh, all in one uh, 240 meter radiator. Storage wise, our case can potentially support up to three, two and a half inch hard disk, one hidden behind our front panel and two potentially uh, replacing one of our top 120 millimeter fan. But obviously since this is a mini ITX chassis uh, and it's gonna support a mini uh, ATX motherboard which can support up to two M.2 solid state drives anyways, uh, three uh, potential hard disk is more than enough and I cannot see anybody who's gonna 
put three hard disks on a mini ITX chassis. Anyway, three is plenty, that's my point. Otherwise, we do have a five gigabit third generation USB plug as well as a 10 gigabit per second type C plug, which is definitely what I was looking for. And usually when I'm choosing my case, I am not going with anything which does not feature a type C. So kudos to Argentech for this. Big one. We have a logo dressed thumb power button which uses its backlight to signal hard disk activity. So minimalist for sure. But we do have the principles and, and all the features that you would need to operate a full desktop computer. Now, <clears throat> this is a very nice looking case. I'm not saying no, it's a beautiful chassis, but how does it feel to build in there? And how cool does it stay over time whilst you're gaming? Well, let me be clear. Um, when it comes to building a mini ITX PC, it's really important that you make some research because really does things go as planned. Because despite the fact that I had no problem building in this chassis, I uh, um, encountered a couple of issues which I really think Regin Tech should be fixing immediately. So apart from the PSU uh, uh, bracket plate that I, I mentioned earlier, the space between your top ceiling fan and the PCIe 3.0 or uh, extension cable is inexistent and you can tell that there is a little bit of friction or risk of friction and over time the fan might uh, damage your PCIe 3.0 extension which is at least a third of the price of this chassis. So I would have really liked to see something to push down the PCIe 3 cable extension like a clip on or something like this or just one millimeter clearance. One millimeter would have been just perfect and enough in that case. Now second, and that was for me almost a deal breaker, which is not often. Once my CPU was installed, I want you to picture my surprise when I realized that my stock cooler uh, was too tall to allow uh, a side glass panel to close. I tried everything, it just is too tall. And it's not like you have a choice. Uh, like I said earlier, this case cannot take any all-in-one cooler, it simply does it's not tall enough. So in all logic, anyone would assume, hey, I still have my stock cooler with my processor. Well, I'm gonna put it on, everything should be worked out. The engineer must have, must have thought about this, obviously. Well, no, it, it'll work with Intel stock coolers, but if you put any AMD stock cooler, it's, it's too tall. So you have to go and purchase another AM4 compatible, compatible cooler, which is slim, and it's just, I don't understand this. And simply said, this could have been fixed easily with one more centimeter uh, lateral clearance. So do make sure, again, to make all the research you need before throwing yourself in this build. And not only with this mini ITX, to be fair to Regintech, but with any mini ITX. So after putting this computer into a loop of infinite stress test, I tried it all and I was absolutely surprised, really, really happily surprised to see that this thing is no worse than any uh, mid tower in, in, in terms of heat efficiency. Actually, really was impressively cool all along in all the different conditions I threw that thing around. So I really have to, to give it to Rajin Tech because this is a single point that they had to get right to excuse any kind of critics I could have found uh, around the Offian. Now, in conclusion, at about $150 to $180 before taxes in the niche market of the mini PC, and despite some things you need to watch, for when ordering your mini PC components, the Offion is probably one of the coolest looking heat efficient SFF case available today. It looks great, it really does. And even with very hot components like the 3700X or the 500 or the 5600 XT, what you have here is one of the most powerful gamers I have assembled in a very long time. And at full performance, I could not detect any overheating whatsoever, just a testimony of the great airflow that uh, the Orpheon is benefiting from. And that's the foundation, uh, the basics Rajintech needed to get right. A good looking, well-featured, premium, tiny chassis, um, which can run the most absorbed configuration and keep it cool at all time. 